Hey, what's going on guys? I want to talk about in terms of how to find trades in the or stocks in the pre-market. Uh, so today we're using this interactive brokers, a uh, pretty good platform. So let's look at this. Um, easiest way to look at it is go on file, go to a new window, and you want to look for there's two market scanners they have. They have a mosaic market scanner, which looks like this. Uh, something, so if you want to find US movers, you could. Right, so you can do US movers up 3%. So I have this built in on here, which is customized. So you can customize the values in terms of how much average volume you want, the last price change, uh, all the stuff. If you want to export it on Excel file, you could as well. You can export the results, uh, but I'm not interested in that. Uh, average volume uh, generally really doesn't just move this average volume over here, right? So now you're seeing all the uh, the top gainers, the top losers um, in the markets, right? So you see all of this. Uh, what I really want to do is uh, maybe if you want, um, I want to trade stocks which is over five bucks, right? Because you don't want to trade stocks which has uh, really no value. I mean, 50 cents, 10 cents. I don't really trade penny stocks. So that's something you can do um, on the universe end. You can go and select whether you want ETFs, stocks, features. So I've selected product as stocks uh, region on the US side. You can do EuroAsia as well if you want to. Uh, I've selected most of the exchanges on here. Um, Bats, NQ. Uh, I don't trade pink or over OTC stocks, right? Uh, I'm more than happy with any of the types. So there is ADRs, corporations, um, and so on. There's also filter by industry. If you want to filter by industry, you could based on which industry you like to trade, right? So those are all the things that you can do. This reduces universe. Uh, fields and filters, financial instruments, right? If you want to add another field, you could say you want to do based on prices, um, last close price, right? And then let's go back. Uh, you do values, right? So I mean, here is how you can do it, right? Uh, the other way that you can use, uh, so you will, you can quickly find the top gainers, movers in the markets, right? Uh, the other way that you can do it uh, using the star scanner is go to file again, uh, go to new window, uh, go to advanced market scanner, right? So now you'll see again. In terms of location, I've selected U.S. stocks. You have other options as well, U.S. equity ETFs, fixed income, bonds, and so on. But we, I generally trade U.S. stocks, so we've traded U.S. stocks. Uh, you can see which all exchanges you want to involve in. Uh, don't want to trade OTC stocks, so remove that. You want to trade something which price is greater than five bucks, right? So you don't want, you don't, I'm not really interested in trading penny stocks. Um, so you do price greater than five, and if you want to see all the movers, you do search, and then you see all the top percent gainers. Right? Now, I mean, if you want to go through the list, it's pretty easy. Let's do this. Um, so with interactive brokers, you can actually turn or turn off the. Uh, Right, so something like this, if you want to see pre-market data or you don't want to see pre-market data, that's one way to do it as well. So you right click, you go to chart parameters, uh, show data as a regular trading hours, you apply. Okay, so it's going to show you uh, pre-market trading. Uh, going back to the scans on here. So if you take a look at, let's say, Codex, right? So Codex, if you take a look at, right, it looks like it might have some room to go, right? I mean, it has been pretty strong pre-market. So something that I would like to watch. Uh, so the nice gain percentage, nice volume. Uh, then there's GIII, massive gain, right? Massive positive up, 13.62%. Uh, chances are, I mean, if it's gapping up so high, just try to skim it down over here. This. All right, so let's do this monthly. Um, all right, 
So these are the sources of resistance, so somewhere around 49 bucks. So it's gapping somewhere to resistance, right? So this might be a good opportunity for it to work for a gap fill. Uh, on pre-market, you can already see it starting to trend down, right? So Codex UIII, then you have NES. I mean, there's only 100 shares traded, not interested. 100 shares, 200 shares, not interested. Um, say smart, smart sheet, right? I mean, this kind of looks like it's really thinly traded. Don't want to do that. Um, so this is no volume in here as well. Uh, TLK doesn't look good. Sogo. Um, let's try to see. Sometimes with interactive brokers, it takes a while for it to refresh. Sogo looks like a good name to trade, right? I mean, yesterday it had this big range from low of 972, high 1108, so $1.30 range. Um, so maybe I want to watch Sogo as well, right? See if it has any more upside momentum. I mean, it is running into this resistance down here. Um, I mean, it's capping up somewhere around 12, right? So maybe some more push. So, so it has good volume. So one thing that you can do in the scanner also is there's auto refresh. So you can turn off the auto refresh so it doesn't keep on refreshing itself, right? So we have done Codex, nice volume, nice gap percentage, GIII, NES. These ones have no volume. Smart, we're already taking a look at. Um, doesn't seem like it really trades too well. Uh, DLK, you have seen, I mean, it's kind of, uh, it looks like it's an ADR probably, the way it's, it caps, right? Uh, it is an ADR, right, it's Indonesia. Then there's SOGO, which is an ADR as well. Uh, no volume much over here for 4,600, not really interested. Um, maybe MYL, right? So it has this move up here. Pre-market is kind of a bit sketchy. I don't want to trade MYL. NCS, nothing to do. VSTM, nice volume, nice gap percentage, nice volume. Um, let's see what VSTM is doing. Um, it's capping pretty much middle of nowhere, nothing to do. Twitter was added to S&P 500 yesterday. Uh, so it's gapping pretty nice and a lot of volume done pre-market. But one thing with Twitter is uh, the stock is already up quite a bit. Right, I mean, so mostly you're looking for short opportunities, but because it's a strong stock, don't want to try to short it. Uh, then there is STM. Let's see what else. Uh, listen to the DR. Thing to do over here, Coop. Um, no, nothing much. I mean, it's gapping up over here. Um, maybe this is an ETF. Drip. It's an ETF. See so why? Why? Another name. Some decent gap percentage. Two point seven five. Decent volume. Fifty seven two hundred. Uh, it's middle of nowhere over here. Uh, so really main concern about in terms of gap percentage would be some decent gaps, which means a lot of people's positions will have to change and volume. You need to see something being traded in the pre market, right? So that's how you can do uh, on the upside. Uh, if you want to do, you can do percentage based on losers as well. Uh, do search again. Um, so one way, I mean, if you want to see how to add more columns, you can definitely insert columns like this, right? You can configure the volume columns if you want to. So if you if you don't want volume and and last price, right? Uh, so let's look at it. Fran, it's five dollar stock. It's capping over here. I don't really like trading anything less than ten bucks usually. Some eight or nine bucks traded, but um, nothing much, right? So 6.4, not enough volume, cool. Uh, gapping into this consolidation, so nothing really much to do. CUK, let's see, CUK. Um, so CUK has done a lot of volume pre-market. It's down negative five, 250,000 shares traded. Um, it looks like it has this nice range going on in the pre-market, right? Um, looks like an ADR as well, right? I mean, it looks thin. Don't really like to trade much ADRs unless like a Chinese name ADRs, which is moves quite a bit with um, general ADRs. Uh, most of the move is already done in the pre-market, so. Um, something like maybe CCL is negative 4%, right? Carnival Cruise is down negative 4, a lot of volume done at 278. 
Uh, so this is one name I want to trade, right? Down quite a, quite a bit, and I'm doing decent volume. Um, JKS. I know the Solars got hit last week, um, yesterday. So JKS is down quite a bit. Uh, first Solar down negative three. Did a lot of volume, seventy six thousand shares. Um, yeah, so let's keep on going through. Try to see something which has done quite a bit with some decent volume. So then you have see people who are actually interested in trading. RBS, uh, Royal Bank of Scotland, once again, it's an ADR, pretty thinly. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, don't look like there's anything else. So, I mean, based on the scanners that I did, uh, you see this codex to trade. Um, we'll have to see how it really does around the six star level. It's a, uh, I'm not sure what the story is behind it, but it looks like it had this volatility in it, right? So it might pop a bit more, maybe, maybe not. We'll have to see the intraday pattern. Uh, one thing it is on IB is not shardable. You can go on shardable, say there's no contract available. Uh, GIII is something I will want to trade because um, I mean, it's it's been gapping quite a bit and has done pretty decent volume. And I mean, if you look at the pre-market trend, it has been going down. So we'll see how it does. Um, Sogo and so Sogo might not be the greatest one. CCL would be the one that I really want to trade as well. It's a nice $60 stock done quite a bit of volume in the pre-market, right? So yeah, so that's how you can use it. Use interactive brokers to scan. If you like the videos, please like and subscribe and we'll be willing to make more videos for you guys. Have a good one.